Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, and today we're gonna answer some questions posed by Mr. Ed Boon himself. On his Twitter page, he posted a teaser of Takeda, who's gonna be the last character for Combat Pack 1. The character looks sick, by the way. It looks exactly just like MKX Takeda. I can't wait to see what else he's gonna do. But he also posted three questions for the community to provide some feedback on the game and I'm going to provide the feedback in this video. So question number one, which five fighters from the main roster do you feel could use the most love to make them better, unchained, formidable, and fervent? Now, when I thought about this question, I'm just kind of like, okay, it's obviously going to be bias, right? These are the five characters that I think need a little extra love. Number one on the list is definitely Lee Mei. Now, I know that Lee Mei is capable of a lot of damage um, if paired with the right cameo, but she still feels quite stubby. I don't know how they fix that, um, but she feels stubby. She's not showing up the way we would like her to show up. MK1 is a redemption arc for Lee Mei. She has been playable for decades, and I just feel like in this game, she's so stubby. She has a lot of potential. She has a, the unique mechanic with the uh, the lanterns, I think is cool. It just needs to be better. I think it has to do with her buttons. I'm not talking about frame data, really. She's just stubby, you know, like she, she doesn't really reach far. I know she's supposed to be up and close baller, brawler, but something is off there. I would like her to stand strong on her own. I know the name of the game is Strong Cameo, but I find that I would like her to be able to use a lot of other cameos instead of being pigeonholed to the same handful. So number one on my list, totally Lee Mei. Number two, Quan Chi. Now, again, they have to figure out how to do this, but Quan Chi needs a little love in the poke area. I think it's crazy that his um, like down one, down three, down four are so minus just because he has this cool little skeleton that reaches. I think it's ridiculous. Um, I think I understand the portal gameplay. I'm still getting used to it. There is, uh, like I understand the vision for him, but he needs a little something else. Maybe another string. Um, maybe another opportunity to combo with. Uh, I think he could definitely use a, a boost in the health department. I hate the fact that his health is so low. I think that's crazy. So that would be number two on my list. Number three, Havoc. Now, the thing about Havoc is in the right hands, he can seem quite powerful, but the character is just not as cool as he should be. Y'all have to understand. Havoc is this character, as you see, that like breaks his bones and fights you with it. Uh, but it doesn't seem like he's doing that in the fight with you. I like the new mechanic they introduced with the projectiles. That's something quite new um, to the character. I like the mind games they have with that. The tether move where, you know, he grabs you and he spits on you and then he cracks his own neck or whatever. Uh, I, I guess it's cool, but something is missing. It's just like, I, I think it's more combo opportunities. Um, I don't know if they're trying to say that he shouldn't be a combo character, but I feel like in this game, this game is so combo heavy. And with Havoc, you have to work so hard to get a combo off. So he's definitely number three on my list. Number four on my list is Natara. Again, I don't know why her health is so low. Much like Quan Chi, I don't know why it's so low. I think it's because they want you to use her, um, her mechanic where she can take blood from you, but I, I still think her health is too low. And I think that's what's stopping her from being used widely. It just seems like such a risk to have such low health. I'm actually quite annoyed with the health disparities across the board. I don't know why they do that. I think it pigeonholes a lot of characters like Quan Chi, like Natara. Now, I'm a little bit biased. I love the 3D era characters, and so I want them to be the best. But a handful of them are hurt by the fact that they have low health, and Natara is one of them. Again, she just needs something a little extra. I know she just got a buff, but I don't think it's enough. I'd like to see more. I think they should give her a regular projectile. That's just my opinion. 
but I think she could use just a little tweaking in the health department and I think that would make her a little bit more palatable and people would take more risks in playing with her. Um, the final person I would say, and this is not about necessarily help, I'm looking at this question also about how to make a character cooler, and that's Reiko. Again, no surprise, I'm a huge fan of the 3D era characters. Uh, my issue with Reiko is I would like him to have more strings, and I don't understand why he's not fighting with that staff that's in his fatal blow and his fatality. I think it's a missed opportunity. So I hope they devise some way to like bring up his staff and have him use it in his um, fighting style. I think that would be so cool. And so for that reason, Reiko is the last choice. I'm not saying he needs anything. I'm not saying he needs to be buffed because he has a very strong projectile. I think the command throw game, I get it. Um, it's not fun to fight against, but I understand how they designed him. So, but I'd like him to have something involving the staff. Question number two. Which five cameo fighters do you feel could use the most love? Well, in my honest opinion, the entire cameo roster needs love. <laughs> uh, the I've been pretty consistent about the problem with the cameo mechanic, and it's that it is widely or wildly uneven in terms of utility across the cast. And so I think the majority of the cameo cast could use some love in order for them to have utility. I think that's what's missing from the cast. We have such a spe special batch of characters to use as assist in this game, but for some reason, half of them feel useless unless it's very specific matchups. Um, and I think they need to do something to switch that up. But if I had to choose five, I would start off with Miss Sonya Blade. I understand they recently patched her, um, they buffed her leg grab, that's now an overhead and this plus on block. I think that's great, uh, it's the right direction to take with her. I do think they need to increase, um, actually decrease the combo scaling on the leg grab, but I can see that they're trying to make this like a 50-50 thing, and because it's plus on block, I guess it's fine. I think she needs a fourth move. I think she should have a fourth move. Um, that's how I would give her some more love. It's the She's the first lady of Mortal Kombat. And she could use more love. I love the direction they're taking with her, but I think they could do more. Second for me, and it's so funny because my first three are back to back here. Sector. I want to play Sector so badly. A number of us want to play Sector so badly with certain characters. But there is something about his utility that's off. Sector has a regular rocket, a homing, uh, and a homing rocket. Uh, the regular rocket, I think you should be able to combo into it somehow. Um, I think the way they designed the two rockets to function is kind of weird. One is homing, no one ever uses it because it is useless. Um, and the other one is hard to combo into, you know. It, I guess it's not supposed to be a combo opportunity, it's supposed to be like a setup kind of thing, which is fine, I guess. but. I think they can make it easier to use and make it more useful. I also think the telepunch, the combo scaling is ridiculous on it. The startup is so much, for the combo scaling to be that high, it's ridiculous. Like I said, I want to run him with Quan Chi so badly, but it, it just seems like it's not worth it, you know? And so that's how they could improve Sector for sure. Show him some love. Number three on my list is Frost. Now, it's so crazy because when when we had the beta for MK1 and Frost was one of the cameo fighters we could use, her selling point was like, oh my God, she has all summon attacks, which was, you know, supposed to be cool, I guess. But in the end, I think it's what holds her back from being really great is that all her attacks are summons. The way this game is shaping out the cameos needs summons and ambushes. And the fact that Frost only has summons puts her to the bottom of the list. So I understand she has four attacks. That's fine. One of them has to be become an ambush. And I think if they do that, that would shoot her to the top of the list. 
for example, her ice dagger attack, I think if that's a some uh, that's an ambush attack, that would at least give her the opportunity to be useful, maybe to make moves safe, which is kind of like a theme you see. Like they have the way these cameos are set up, they they do only one thing. So if you want something that makes them move safe, you probably choose Kano or you probably choose Goro. But why can't Frost have that? You know, and that's what's kind of missing from the cameos. They all have are defined by this one attack and therefore the rest of their attacks are useless. But that's not how it should be. Like if you choose Frost to make an attack safe, why can't you rely on her other attacks to add to your toolkit? The last on my list was Goro, but this is related to what I was saying about Frost. You only see Goro to make moves safe, particularly with Tanya, right? Um, and I believe Kung Lao as well. With his his um, his air punch thing, it makes your move safe, but nothing else that he does is useful. Nothing else he does is useful. And I think that's what's holding a lot of these cameo characters back. Now his throw, if his throw was easier to combo into, I think they should make it like an overhead or make it a mid. I think it's currently a throw and I just think it's so dumb. It's just, it's useless. <laughs> it's useless. The only thing you use Goro for is to make your move safe. And I think it should not be that way. It should be, okay, this character's strongest attribute is this, right? So in Goro's case, the fact that he can make your move safe with his ambush attack is great, right? But you should also be able to rely on his other attacks to kind of round out the support that he provides. And unfortunately, he just doesn't do that. And I think that's what's happening with Frost. Because she, all her attacks are summons, she is just not useful because you need an ambush in this game. You just do. So that's, Gora was last on my list, but I mentioned him. Another character on my list is Tremor. Now, I understand Tremor's gimmick. Tremor is supposed to harken back to the times of MKX where he was introduced as a fully fledged character that was playable for the first time and you could cycle through variations because that was the game's main um, feature is that each character had a variation. And he had Metallic, um, I'm forgetting the other two names, uh, Metallic, Aftershock, and Crystalline, right? So those are his three variation. And I think it's cool that you can cycle through those variations as a cameo, right? He has a toolkit that he can use. The problem in his metallic variation, nobody's using it. <laughs> no one's even really using crystalline. The only time I see Tremor being used is for his aftershock low attack, and those are very, very specific situations. And because the other features or the other parts of this character are not very useful, you don't see him being used often. For example, his um, his metallic variation with the lava, I would love to use that in a combo. Why can't I do that? Why can't I do that in a combo? Why is it so difficult? Why does it like, it's just weird, you know? And so I think that's a problem. I think if they address that, he would rival Chameleon for like the best cameo in the game. Because what makes Chameleon so special is she has so much utility. Every single thing that she does is useful. That should be the standard for the cameos in the game. Every single move that they have needs to be useful, right? Chameleon should be the standard in this game. If cameos are going to play such an integral role in how we play this game, Chameleon is a standard. She really is. And even after this patch, she's still super amazing. So. That's my list for the five cameos that should, that could use some love. Sonya, Sector, Frost, Goro, and Tremor for sure. Runner up is Jax. Um, again, I just don't think they're taking it far enough with him. The ground pound got old really quickly. Um, the projectile, no one's really using that. It's just like, why go through all that trouble, you know? I just, I, I don't really, he could use some love as well. The final question, for cameos, what do you wanna most see more of? 
more cameo fighters, more ambush moves, or more special moves. All three, Mr. Boone. All three. I want to see all three. I want more cameo fighters. However, however, I do not want to see more cameo fighters until the team figures out what cameos are supposed to do in this game. Right now, there isn't a clear vision. Um, and as I was saying previously, I think Chameleon is the standard for how cameos should function in this game. This is an assist-based game. And the assists you choose should take your character from level 2 to at least level 8. And currently, the cameos are not doing that. They're all kind of pigeonholed into doing one thing. For example, Serena, right? Most people use her for her combo ability because you get to combo into these um, weapons that she has that boost your damage and it's easy to do. But nothing else is used. Everything else is kind of second rate, you know? Why can't everything that Serena offers be like amazing? That's what Chameleon is. That's why she's so useful. That's why she's so popular because everything she does can be useful and can take a character to the next level. You and can take any character, any main roster character on the roster to the next level. And the rest of these characters don't do that. I think the other person that does that is Janet Cage. Um, I don't like this character per se, but I totally understand the impact she has had on this roster. Her combo extensions, the fact that she has that puppet mode, the fact that she can play shield and kind of like block you from moving forward. She has so much utility. The name of the game is utility. So yes, I would like to see more cameo fighters, but I don't want any more cameo fighters if we're just going to be stuck with these cameo fighters functioning the way that they are. I just think across the board there needs to be more utility with these cameos character with these cameo characters. And what really bothers me is like these are some legacy Mortal Kombat characters. They should not be this bland as cameos. Like they should be able to offer so much. And so I would like to see across the board cameo fighters improved in their utility before we add more to the roster. Once y'all figure that out, I'd like to see more special moves. I don't know how that would work, but I'd like to see more special moves. Like I was saying earlier, Sonya, I think she can have a fourth cameo attack. Why not? Why not? The, the input is there, right? Um, what would it look like if when we pressed cameo and you know, right punch, they do something else. You know, I would love to see them have more special moves. I would love to see that. And I like the idea of certain cameos being able to do certain things. For example, um, Mataro being able to reflect projectiles. Like, I don't necessarily need every cameo to be able to do that. But I'd also like Mataro to have more utility because right now he's just being used for his plus on block frames with his tail um, his tail projectile. And I think that's the problem with this roster, with this cameo roster and their functionality. It's like there's that one attack that they have that stands out and therefore nothing else gets used. I think who exemplifies what I'd like to see cameos do is Movado. <laughs> Movado has joined this roster with two ways to combos that's very unique to him. The way how you combo with, with him is that your opponent has to be airborne or in like a comboable state before he's able to jump in and extend the combo that's fairly unique then he has a setup projectile that brings you in and then he also has that weird attack where he pulls you and the opponent together and you know you guys both take damage that is what we call utility he has a projectile that might be useful depending on who you play he certainly has combo extensions that can work for you depending on how you play. And then he has that one wacky thing that could also be useful for you depending on how you play. You know who else fits that mold? Chameleon. You know who else fits that mold? Janet Cage. You know who else could fit that mold? Tremor. Do you think, do you see the pattern here? These are all DLC cameos. And I don't think that was a mistake. 
And so I just like that same energy and effort to be poured into the cameo characters that started off this game. And I'd like to see them to be able to do more. So again, once we figure out what's going on with the cameos and how we want them to function, I'd like to see more special moves. What would it look like if Scorpion had another move? What would it look like if Sub-Zero had another move? That's kind of what I want to see. And as I've been saying, it is so crucially important because cameos define this game. Cameos are the defining mechanic in this game. And if the cameos are not functioning correctly, this game is not going to have the longevity that it deserves. And so that's what I'd like to see in Mortal Kombat 1 based on these feedback opportunities provided to us by Ed Boon. Thank you guys so much for taking this journey with me and having this conversation with me. I really appreciate it. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Stay tuned to the channel. There's a lot more content coming and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.